Hi, I'm Lynette Carrington, and I am coming to you from the second annual Chandler International Film Festival. Joining me is Phil Hollins, and he's a screenwriter who has been involved in this competition. Tell me a little bit about the, uh, is it the script that you have in? Yes. Uh, the script is called Fugly because I wanted to write a script that was somewhat anti-bully mm -hmm. and it was an opportunity for her to tell a nice romantic story at the same time. I think, it, I think it worked out pretty well. That's great. Well, as you know, the award ceremony is coming up shortly. Yes. So we'll, we'll find out before the end of the evening how Phil does in the competition. Now, you're actually from the Valley? Yes, I am. So tell me about some of your other screenwriting or filmmaking endeavors that you've been involved in over the years. Uh, well, recently I wrote a script called Forces of Decadence. It's a narrative. Um, if you've seen the, uh, the film um, Narcos, Yes. Um, basically, it's somewhat in that same fashion, but it's an actual true story of a um, of a sergeant major in the army who actually uh, tried to kill his commander. Oh. <laughs> and so it was a pretty interesting story. I was there during that time frame, mm -hmm. and I was lucky enough to have a couple of the people uh, that were that were also stationed there, including the prosecutor and a couple of people in the organization, to actually help me write this story. So it was uh, it was pretty good. I think it turned out very well. It's done well in a few competitions, so I'm looking forward to seeing it uh, move forward. Thank you. Well, Phil Hollins, thanks so much for joining us this evening, and we'll see you inside. Thank you very much. And now joining me is Tom Proctor, who has been here for all four days of these festivities. Is all that right? All four days, yes. Okay, tell me about some of the highlights and some of your favorite films. Uh, you know, I don't know how to hit, hit what were the highlights and favorite films because there were just so many, there was, there was a lot of surprises. Oh, okay. Like I, I sat down and watched a film that at first I'm going, what, what is this, what, what, what? And then all of a sudden, when it played out, it just really, really played out. But there was a lot of original uh, ways of presenting things. I was, I, I was really amazed uh, when I watched a lot of the student films. Oh, okay. I'm thinking, wow, should I maybe like go back to school? Because <laughs> they just they just came up with, I don't know if it's new knowledge or lack of knowledge, but they just had really, they just decided this is what I want to say and they're going to say it. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm always, I, I love the film festivals because it's a good place mm -hmm. for independent filmmakers to support each other and and meet other filmmakers and, and do everything. But the thing that's been really, really, really unique to this, I have styles of movies that I just don't like. I'm, I'm just too old. <laughs> but if you tell me a story, I like it. Okay. I will enjoy that story. Whether I care for that particular type of movie or not, not relevant. And one of the things that most of the people here did was tell the, a story. I've gone to festivals where you walked out and go, what was that? What did I just watch? Yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and I mean, Fast and the Furious proves you don't need to tell a story if you got enough sexy babes, fast cars, and that type of stuff. Did I say that out loud? Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Did, did I? That's no, honest. I, I, I did, yeah, you know. But anyway, yeah, I mean, I, and I got to be wrong on that. There's how many of them? Uh, you 28 know. and a half? 28 and a half, oh, yeah, like exactly. And how was your film? You had a, a film in this film festival as well. How was your film received? Really, really well. Um, the, the, the place was full of people. Uh, the director had requested a Q and A, and so we did a Q and A, and it was it was really good because my my film was a unique role for me. Right. I always play the serial killer. I always <laughs> get this after the thing. I even had one lady uh, walk up to me and uh, after a film and just mm -hmm. goes, "You're disgusting to me." <laughs> you know, because I always play, I'm, I'm the racist white guy in every movie. I did 12 Years of Slave Roots, uh, Birth of a Nation, I'm recurring on Underground, and I, I always play that bad guy. So to be in a room where I got to look and watch everybody wiping away Aww, tears, that's sweet. I thought, that, See? That, 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 was, that was good, that was a real unique experience. That's a, that's a mark of a wonderful actor. Uh, what is your next project that you have coming out? Uh, we just got funded for four of our own films. Uh, they're all action oriented. They've been uh, all under a million dollars. And um, so we'll be back with some of those projects. That's, that's the main thing that's up for me. And I'm actually directing a short the end of this month mm -hmm. to come here next year called Laid Over. Oh. 
So okay. look for late over. It'll be here next year. Okay, fantastic. And Tom Proctor, thank you again for joining us. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. And joining me now is Steve Brain, the president of the Arizona Film and Media, Media Coalition. Coalition. And he has been here throughout this film festival, and you are a huge supporter of local film in Arizona. Yes. So tell us more about you and what you thought about this film festival. I think this is fantastic. Uh, I'm especially pleased to see it do so well this year, second year that it was here. Sure. Um, greater things in the future. Mm -hmm. um, I was excited to see how many films there were this year. It was very exciting to come to some of the films. Um, and of course to be a judge and a presenter tonight is, is a lot of fun. Um, so I, you know, I'm a, as you said, I'm a big supporter of the local film industry. Um, I was involved in getting the film office reinstituted last uh, year thank, ago. Thank you, thank you for that. Um, and as president of the Arizona Film and Media Coalition, we're the lobbying organization for the film industry in the state of Arizona. So it's our job to present legislation to the state legislature. So our intention is December of this year to have a tax incentive plan. Oh, that good. we can present to the legislature. And we've been without uh, an Arizona film tax incentive for what, seven years, eight years now? Eight it's years. been a while. It's eight years. Right. Now you're also a freelance producer. What are some other projects that you're working on? Do you have anything in the pipeline right now? I have a uh, TV series project, but I can't go into details because okay. we're still negotiating with okay. the network. All right. um, and I just do a lot of industry stuff. I'm also on the board for the Arizona Production Association. I'm an advisor to the Scottsdale Community College uh, School of Film and Theater. Which um, is a which is a fabulous film school, it's by the way. The best film school yes. in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Beats any other school here. I won't say what three initials. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I also do volunteer work out at Luke Air Force Base. I'm an honorary commander. Oh, thank you so, for that. That's yeah. fabulous. So I have a lot of fun with that. Um, so it's, you know, I'm a big supporter of the industry. I was involved in putting Sneaky Big Studios together mm -hmm. uh, for a couple of years. And one of the things I insisted on when we were doing any productions was we're lo using local crew mm -hmm. and we're using local equipment. So sometimes we had to go out for you know out of state for actors or maybe a director, a specialty director of some sort. But for the most part, all the below the line crew were local crew. It's wonderful. Well, it's important to to use Arizona people and we, Arizona resources whenever and wherever oh, possible. Oh, absolutely. We have a great crew base here. It's so wonderful. It's good to support it, and this this is going to do more for the industry. I've seen a lot of changes in the industry in the last two or three years, and it's only getting better. Steve Brain, thank you so much for joining us. It was My nice pleasure. to meet you, sir. Thank Good to meet you. you. Now on the red carpet with me is Samson yeah, yeah, no Ali, and he just flew in from Pennsylvania, but he's from LA, so he came the long way to be here tonight. Tell me about your film that you had in this film festival. Uh, my film is Paula, P O L A R. Um, it's about a young girl that's down trolling. She's lost everything. Our boyfriend, so she was like, I'm going back to my mama's house. But her alter ego said, No way, I'm gonna let you do that. So we have this battle of will between her and her alter ego. She's and she's trying to say, Oh, I'm done. But her alter ego said, No, we need to go back to the drawing box and you pick up your stuff and we go back to that place, but not your house. Oh, okay. Well, there is going to be an award ceremony inside, so I will keep your fingers crossed for you. And I'm so glad you got to come out and visit. Thank you. I'm glad. This is amazing. You guys have been amazing the job for us so, like, of coming from Memphis. And I can't wait to see what uh, Chandler Film Festival has for us next year. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here, Samson Ali. Be sure to check him out on IMDb. Thank you. And we have some more wonderful filmmakers who joined us here at the Chandler International Film Festival over this four days of films, films, and more films. What is your name? I am Mark Cassady from New York. And I am Anna Cassady, also from New York. Yes, you're a long way, and it's been quite an adventure for you. Hey, no snow. I'm happy. Oh, this is, yeah, that hardly ever happens here.
<laughs> Tell me the highlights of this film festival. What did you love? Well, you know, the, one of the most interesting, the way this is set up was actually really nice. So the fact that they took everything like in this resort and set up in one central location, mm -hmm. I, we never had to leave. Right. Got out of our hotel room, saw all the films we needed to see, got a bite to eat, and it was all in one central location. The only thing we had was the opening night, which is at, what, at the Harkins Theater. Right, uh, right. Which went very well. So yeah, we we actually enjoyed it. Our screening for our film Legacy with Tom Proctor did absolutely well. That's what he was saying. Yeah. He was saying that, that it was really well received, and of course it was a departure for Tom because it wasn't his typical role. It wasn't right. his typical role. I mean, you're talking to a guy who went from Guardians of the Galaxy, 12 Years a Slave, to Justified, to doing a completely dramatic emotional piece, yeah. which is something that both Anna and I like to take actors and push them out of their comfort zones. Because as filmmakers, that's that's the whole point of this. If, if you're not taking that actor and pushing them beyond their limits to help them discover who they really are as an actor, sure. then you know, we don't think you're doing it right. No, but it's people like you who help actors grow, and that's that's yes. really wonderful. Did you see any great films? What, did you have any favorites? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> yes, yes yeah. we, we had a, a lot of favorites. Um, I personally loved uh, Going South. Okay. Um, Falling South. Falling South. Yep. Yes, Falling South. Okay. Um, and um, it was absolutely wonderful. We saw um, Stella Morris. I absolutely Stella loved Morris. that. And she was the, the actress, actress in that Joanne one. was absolutely wonderful. Yeah. We love her. We would love to hire her. Um, we've seen quite a good number of films. Oh, and the comedy um, block was great today. Yes. So the comedy block, the comedy block with um, Milo and Papaya. Mm -hmm. Pa uh, Papua. Well, Papua, yeah. Papua. <laughs> Sorry, I got the name wrong. No, those guys did an excellent job with their film. It was quick dialogue, it was funny, it was a dark comedy. But, you know, a lot of the. What's nice about the festivals like this is when you have a chance to see other filmmakers and their take on their art and how they portray that art on film. It's, just, it's a great, it was a beautiful thing. It was awesome. We really appreciate you both coming out and participating in this film festival. And I hope next year maybe you'll have another film. That you can enter in the really Chandler International Film Festival. It'd be great to see you again. I'll right. see you inside for the award ceremony. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And now at the Chandler International Film Festival is my good friend Tracy McCormick and James Heckle, and they're going to be telling us a little bit more about the importance of independent film here in the Valley. Now, Tracy McCormick is the owner of Lightfinder PR, and she works jointly between Arizona and Los Angeles. What do you think about the importance of film festivals in general? Yeah. Thank you for asking. Of course to film festivals in general is huge. It's tremendous impact on our communities um, and, and nationally on film and internationally because we all get our starts with indie film. I mean, everybody pretty much has started that way. And certainly in Arizona, it's it's been phenomenal to kind of be participate in this film fest and year two, right? Yes, this is the second year, and we have, of course, with the uh, the reopening of the Arizona Film Office and also the Sneaky Big Studio, we have so many great resources. James, what do you think about the importance of independent film or just film here in general in Arizona? Well, like, thank you for inviting us as well, and, and she just took my answer. So everybody, it's a great place. To start as individuals and it's more it's a lot like small business so you have a small business and then it gets larger and larger and larger and that's what you hope to see here so start with your idea become film and then grow from there that's a great great backbone to start with. Okay. absolutely and this this question is specifically for Tracy because she's in the business of PR and also of marketing why do you feel it's so important for either an up-and-coming actor or actress or a young filmmaker to have the power of PR and marketing behind them and their film it's it's essential because exposure is essential to any brand and sometimes we forget that Bill Gates said if he had one dollar to spend, he would spend it, one dollar, that's it, on PR, if that was it. And if you don't have exposure to your brand or to your film fest or to any any aspect of your art, it's, you know, it's going to go nowhere. Not not that people won't appreciate it when they see it, but you've got to get it out there. Um, I started a film fest in Iowa several years ago, um, produced and ran it for two years. I'm no longer running it. Um, so, I'm, but I, so I'm thrilled. I understand how hard it is to get a film fest put together, and I commend Matesh 
for year two of this with 150 films he's screening? That's yes. huge. Yes, yeah. It was huge. He, I think he more than doubled the amount of film submissions from last year, so who knows what next year will bring. Tracy and James, thanks so much for joining us here in the ring. Thank you. And Dennis Callow had a film in the film festival. He has been watching films for, what, 40 straight now? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I don't know how you keep it all straight, but let's hear it. What have been some of your favorites and what has your experience been? Oh, the experience. Chandler is awesome. What an awesome town. Uh, vegan friendly because I'm vegan, so I'm surprised at how many vegan options there were here. Yes. Um, the screenings have been amazing. What a turnout for them. <laughs> My favorite films right now, I, I, I love uh, Papua. That was okay. my absolute, besides my own, of course, which is Death and Disco Fries. Um, the floor was so fantastic. It's just that those guys, we befriended each other at the beginning of the festival, and then, yeah, so this is where you make friends for life, you know? Uh, and then, what else did I see? I saw today uh, my first time, which was so good. So, so good. So those were my two big standards. Yeah, okay, fantastic. So since you've been here for four days now, uh, what have you done? Have you been out to some great restaurants? Have you been out to do some things around town? Yes, so, uh, well, mainly my whole life has been, you know, here in the best. Sure. So I really, I, I didn't get to do much outside of it, but I did buy a, a Western Belt at Sa Sabas. Yes! Sabas, yeah. It's great. <laughs> That's the best place to buy one, actually. Yeah. And I bought a little sheriff's badge and a marshal badge, so my next movie that I'm directing, I'm going to give someone the sheriff's badge and I'll be the marshal, you know, because the director. That's perfect. Right? That's perfect. Yes. Okay. And then, I, and then yeah, some great restaurants. Like I said, very yes. vegan friendly, so. Yeah. yeah. The chopping have... block is, is amazing. Yep. Yeah. We have a lot of really great restaurants here. Uh, we will be in all the uh, ceremonies in just a little bit, and we will keep our fingers crossed for Death and Disco Fries. Hopefully. And do you have a website that you can tell our viewers about? Yes. What is it's it? It's my own personal website, just DennisCallow.com. D-E-N-N-I-S-C-A-H-L-O.com. Uh, can I ask you a question? Oh, yes. Yeah, go for it. Uh, is your brother a lawyer? <laughs> No, no, my brother is not a lawyer. I, in fact, I don't even have a brother. But, okay. Yeah, yeah. Why? Who do I look like? That's no, a weird no, it's not a weird question. But you you assume me? Is that if, if you watched? I love it. <laughs> is that what's happening? I didn't even punch the camera yet. <laughs> if you watched, if you watched my cousin Vinny, it makes sense. Oh, Gallo, <laughs> Vinny Gallo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. I gotta remember that. Okay, you were gonna. I wish I could come up with a really, really great line that um, the gal said, the gal who won the Academy Award. Oh, Bird, yeah. Like, yeah, she's Marissa told me she's fantastic. I want to work with her one day. So, Marissa, if you're out there. Yeah. You guys got all. Oh, I just thought of it. And my biological clock's just ticking away. Ticking like this. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank that you was so fun. Much. This is great. And joining me now is Aaron Seaver, another filmmaker who just was here today and was able to screen his film. What did you think? I really enjoyed it. The audience was great. They were very complimentary and asked a lot of really nice questions. I was able to talk to the audience and uh, I really enjoy getting to meet people. You know, you put all this work into a film a couple of years and <laughs> right. finally get it done. And it's nice to, to see how people react to it. Right, because literally you're like slice, slicing off a piece of your life to share it with everybody while you're making a film. Uh, what do you think about generally about the importance of film festivals? Um, I personally love them because it's, it's a really good place to interact with other filmmakers. And I've actually made films with people that I've met at film festivals. And oh, so okay. there's a few people I met here today that I'm hoping to make films with. Well, that's exciting. I hope that that comes to fruition for you. Do you also have a website that you might want to share with our viewers? Uh, I don't. It's under That's construction. That's okay. No big deal. Cause we can Facebook that. page? <laughs> uh, well, I have a new project. Okay, That's uh, sure. Secret Lives of Teachers, and we have a, a Facebook page for that, and that's a uh, comedy that we plan to uh, to submit next year. Oh, fabulous. So, yes, Aaron, thank you so much for joining us. Nice to meet you. Appreciate it. Javier Reina joins me now, and he also had a movie in the film festival. Tell me about your movie. Uh, the film is uh, Region Red. It's a feature film based on a book uh, called Region Red by uh, Richard Laskowski. Okay. And are you a filmmaker from Arizona? No, um, from Orange County, California, Newport Beach. Uh, did you just come in today, or have you been here for the entire? No, we here to, for the entire film festival. Um, we premiere. It was our, uh, our world premiere here, nice. so we came for the whole festival. Fantastic. Did you have any favorite films that you were able to see while you were here? Yeah, a lot of them. A lot of good short films. Uh, uh, 
a lot of good feature films like Monsoon was pretty good, short films, uh, uh, Suicide was very good. It's always good stuff. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you inside All right, the thank uh, you. award ceremony. Thank you. Thank you for Bye -bye. joining us. And now we have Molly Ratterman. She also had a film in the film festival. Tell me about your movie. What is it called? Yeah, um, I filmed Suicide and it's dark comedy, uh, although it doesn't sound like it. Um, and it's basically about a girl who's at her wit's end and kind of going on her final suicide mission, but kind of along the way learns different lessons about life. Yeah. How many days have you been here at the film festival? Uh, two, two days? Yeah. Two days. Did you have some other films that you saw that you liked? Yeah, I saw a ton that I liked. A lot of them were conceptual, which I'm normally not okay. into, like kind of experimental films. Um, and there were some really good comedies today that I saw, so that was a lot of fun. Okay. Um, yeah, very inspiring. Well, we did hear, there were a few other people that came down the carpet that did mention suicide. So we've heard about really? your film. Yes, yes. we did. <laughs> Score. So, uh, we'll be going in for the award ceremony shortly, so we'll see you inside then? Yes? Oh, yeah. Okay, yep. thanks, Thank Molly. You so it was really nice to meet you. you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I have the coolest guy sandwich here. Check this out. I have a trio of filmmakers. Okay. What is the film? Well, the movie is called Ineffable. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a 30 minute short film. Okay. Uh, drama fantasy. It's like, you know, a travel love story. And uh, this is uh, the cinematographer, Teddy Mason. Hi, Teddy. What was your name? You didn't get your name. Oh, my name is Maxim Skazola. Okay. Yeah. What is your name? My name's Sean Rowe. Sure it is. Okay, yeah. Sean Rowe, I love it. Where are you from? Well, France. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. From France. <laughs> okay. You might you, you might actually have the award for traveling the farthest. I'm not sure. I haven't talked to everybody yet. But uh, what what have you enjoyed about uh, being involved in in this film festival? <laughs> What did you enjoy about being here at the film festival? I mean, the question is from the project. Ah, what did you have to do with the experience here? Oh. What did you have to do with it? Yeah, uh, meeting people, seeing some of the short movies. Uh, yeah, it was kind of great. You could see the other uh, work. People work. Oh, you're That's in. wonderful. Um, Sean, did yeah. you watch some short films? Yep, did you really enjoy as well? Uh, yeah, we saw. Uh, what was the one today? Uh, Transparent it was really good. I really enjoyed Transparent. Um, we enjoyed. Uh, what was the one yesterday? I'm really bad with titles. My first time. Uh, we saw five. Five men down. Five. Five are fallen. Five are fallen. Five are fallen. Okay. And uh, Transparent was really good. And then uh, the action short today was really cool. My first time. Yeah. Things for my first time. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, well, we will keep our fingers crossed for your film. Cool, thank you. You guys are going to get Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Well, see you inside. Thank you for stopping. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Sally. Here's Sean. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to come in here. Go ahead. And now I have a filmmaker and an actor, and they're going to tell us about their film, Mestizo. What is your name? My name is Chris Carlson. I'm director. And I'm Robert Torreson. I'm his main actor. Oh, and this is another yeah. actor. Hey. Hola, hello, Elio. This is another one of the actors. Yes. Hi, guys. Hello. What can you tell me about the movie? Well, it's, uh, it's a complicated storyline, but it's basically he plays a coyote. He's my lead actor, and he's a, he's a young migrant trying to cross the border. So. So you basically follow us, uh, me and another, another guy who uh, just trying to cross the border and you know get to get to a better life and you kind of see the it's a survival yes survival. Yeah. Where did you shoot this movie? In Tucson, Arizona. Oh, good job! You yeah. we just out there yesterday, so that's uh, that's wonderful. What was your experience like in acting in this film? Oh wow, it was hard because the character I played was truly a, a monster. You know, he, he purposely sent them in the wrong direction. He got paid, he doesn't care what happens to these guys. He tells them, Jack, go a few miles that way over the hill and you'll be fine, you'll find the road. But he knows that's not true. So this is home, it hit home to me because I'm from Mexico. Yeah. And had my parents not brought me here legally many years ago, I would have been doing the same thing that the character did. He was looking for a better life. So you see both sides of the story and playing this side of the story, it's tough. 
Yeah. But uh, but Chris is a great director. He got us through it. We did what we had to do. And I think it works as a cautionary tale to show folks that it's not always a happy ending. Yeah. Right. yeah. Without giving away yeah. too much, but yeah. it's not always. Yeah. How about an official website? Is there a site where people could go? No. Nothing? Not okay, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have a personal website on Arch. Okay. So I'll have something soon. It'll be kbcarlson.com. You're welcome to take more if you have to take Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you inside. Thank you for having me. Thank you. 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 Sandra Mitrovich joins us now. Tell me about your film. Hi. Um, well, my film is Austria will move your piano. It's a short film about a man who is living an ordinary life, uh, and he's the only piano mover in Belgrade. And today is a day when he gets uh, impossible delivery. He gets to deliver a piano that no one actually wants. Oh gosh! And introduce your friend. Who's this your friend? Is, this is Dario. He's a friend. Of Film, just following it, helping us to make the film from the beginning to the end. Oh, that's good. You always got to have the friends helping you, helping you with, like, what, run errands and do things and, and get supplies. Yeah, and I drove around to try and find the piano mover through Belgrade, so that was a. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, so uh, what have you enjoyed about taking part in this film festival? <laughs> it's a great experience. It's my first time in Arizona. I've never yes. been here. Yeah, we are from Serbia. Um, and it was really lovely for you. People are so nice, and it's such a young festival, and very, very. We went how many? Like this is our 15th festival, maybe oh 11th in US. And I can tell you guys that you are really on top of everything, considering that you're such a young festival. We really enjoyed. I love the outdoor screening. I know that wasn't really exactly a part of it, but they did feature a couple of films. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah. The Chandler a Film Festival partner this year with Chandler um, Multicultural Festival. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they so did. So we, we screened our movie really there as well. Both screenings went very well. Yeah. Very I'm so glad that you were able to come and visit from Serbia. I just spoke to some guys that were from France, but I think these guys just took the crown. They've, they've come the farthest. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping yeah. in Thank really you so much. Now we have a local filmmaker, David Van Wee, and tell me about your film that you have entered into the Chandler International Film Festival. So our film is Detroit Under Stress, and it's a documentary about a decoy police unit back in 1970. And this decoy unit went out in the worst parts of Detroit late at night and tried to get robbed to try and stop the crime. And at the end of the first year of operating, Detroit becomes the number one city where police are getting killed and the number one city where civilians are getting killed. And it is an amazing story. You can't believe it. We had uh, Gardner Cole. Uh, was our person that did our score? He's fantastic. He's a friend of mine. We, oh, yeah, he's, he's, great. He's, he's great. I love him. Wonderful. He's fabulous. In fact, he's working with Michael Jackson's son. Right now. Uh, yes, I Brandon. Do I heard that. Yeah. And then uh, C. Thomas Howell does our narration. Uh, did a fabulous job. And we're so excited to be here at the Channel International Film Festival. And we had a great time, a great screening, lots of QA. And uh, we're really excited for the awards coming up. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll keep our fingers crossed for your film, and we'll see you inside during the awards. Filmmaker Bob Schultz joins me up. Please tell me about your film. I'm here with a film called Seeing Him. It's a short that I shot in London when I was over there working for the London Screenwriters Festival. I helped out with the script and pitched in. Great film about love and obsession and passion, all summed up in a nice nine-minute package. It's fantastic. And what would you say is the difference between shooting here in the U.S. versus shooting abroad? Well, I guess the problems are all the same. It's always about getting the right footage in the right time and finding people who are passionate about it. Um, the thing about working abroad for an American, anyway, is that I'm the exotic one. <laughs> you know, everyone says, hey, nice accent. And I'm like, you million people are the ones with the accents. You know? but, uh, but when you find passionate filmmakers and artists and creators, it's the same world around. People just pitch in and help each other out. Oh, that's great. Do you have a website that you'd like to share with everyone? Sure. Please go to seeinghimfilm.com and check it out. Bob Schultz, thanks for joining us. Thanks. More films, more fun from the Chandler International Film Festival. And please introduce yourself to our viewers. Hey, yo. So my name is Dylan Simmons, and I'm the producer and co-director of Mimicry.
And do, you attended your your film screening, I assume. I sure did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was the reception like? Well, I, I was really surprised because, like, you know, what, we went into like the, the bigger theater, like, you know, not knowing how well we were gonna get a reception. And people like clap, and uh, that that was for me. This is the result of the film. It's having people like clapping and really like receiving it like positive. I have a, pres a positive way. So I, I love, you know, how people were able to like, you know, just um, get a really great reaction from the film. So I really thank everyone. I had a chance to go and see it, and uh, again, it was a pleasure just being here at the festival. How about uh, during your during your few days here? Did you get a chance to find a film or two that you liked? I, I did, yeah. So, uh, like, I, I, I saw like some, so, uh, like some really interesting film, especially like at the beginning, like the um, the uh, opening feature film, the competition. Like, you know, saw like you know, I saw it like to be like like really interesting. I really loved like the story and. Again, I just want to see like some like I, I saw I saw so many like short films, you know, like to remember the name, but I, I did get a chance to meet like the, the filmmakers, you know, behind it, and we had a chance to also get a chance to like chat and talk about like you know what was the process of the film. So overall, really loved it, and yeah, that, that was awesome. So. Well, I'm glad you got a chance to uh, make some names with some fellow filmmakers. It's always great to share ideas. Exactly right, like and especially like just kind of like knowing the process and just, just like like mingling like between filmmakers and knowing like how we we came you know from like you know the you know the creation of the, the script all the way up to like you know the festival. So you know just overall positive um, experience and you know just being here. Is quite awesome. Oh, good. I'm so glad you could see you. It's great to see you again. I'll see yeah. you inside one. And just when I think that we couldn't come in and find a filmmaker who had traveled from farther, see so we had people from France, we had people from Serbia. This filmmaker is from Switzerland and he just came in yesterday. What is your name? My name is Max von Fier and I'm the writer and director of Suicide Club. The Suicide Club? Yeah, which okay. just uh, pr premiered here in Arizona uh, today. So I uh, was really, really glad that it made it into the festival. First time ever in Arizona, so quite a discovery for me here. Oh, that's great. So what was, the, uh, what was the reception like for the Suicide Club? Well, it was great, especially uh, given the fact that it's a very, very small film, and I was thrilled to see it like do so well on the festival circuit because it, it was uh, it was really like a completely self-made production that I uh, wrote, directed, and financed myself. Uh, so it cost me like a whole uh, 30 grand to actually make it, and I actually financed it while globe trotting around the world with my backpack. Uh, so I'm a nomadic filmmaker, and that was the only way for me to raise the money without it taking forever as a, as a first timer. I knew that no like producer was gonna throw any money at me, so I just decided I'm just gonna go on and do it with what I can. And I never actually, to be honest with you, expected it to do so well in festival circuit. I thought if I manage to make a film with 30 grand, it's gonna be cool enough. And then he went into a couple of film festivals, he actually won uh, a dozen awards now. So I'm, I'm really, really thrilled. And actually even now it's uh, showing in Arizona. And who would have thought? That's what are the odds? Great. Yes, Good really job. awesome. Well, we'll be prepared for you uh, for tonight's award ceremony. And oh, I think for your next film, you should you should talk about your life story and this whole journey right. that you want to I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, yeah, right I'm, there. exactly. So uh, next time I'm gonna make sure to bring a tuxedo because this is what you get when you're a traveler. So I did, my tux wouldn't fit in my suitcase, so the formal wear required. This is filmmaker sheet right here. Right, right exactly. Right From Switzerland. Sports sheet, new trend. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We have a few more filmmakers here at the Chandler International Film Festival. Of course, tonight is awards night, so everybody's here. This is really exciting. What is your name? Hi, I'm Danny. Hi, Danny. Danny what? Danny J. Garcia. There we go. There we go. And what is your name? I'm Dakota Long. <laughs> Uh, okay, so our film is Valor. Um, we actually did this for the 73 hour film festival at our university, and we decided to enter it here. Um, it's basically about a military wife that's widowed and she's coming to terms with her husband's death. So. It's a very good film, it's short. We uh, did it for the 73 hour film festival, and we had 73 hours to write, shoot, and edit it. So yeah. no pressure, no pressure yeah. at all. It was pretty. <laughs> it was just no a breeze, sleep, really. Though. What what university was this? Uh, Northern Arizona. Oh nice. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So did you get a chance to see any of the other films while you were here? Yeah. We do you have any favorites? Uh, I think 
I really like uh, The Mad Whale. It was my favorite feature film. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw a lot of films. Yeah, I, I was uh, actually in the Palavarty room. I was running the projection. In there. Yeah, so I saw many films. There's so many. Um, yeah, I like the feature film uh, Zealous. And I also like uh, Detroit Under Stress. It was really good. Yeah. Sparked a great conversation. Um, another feature was Monsoon. Very clean. Uh, this is the director's first time doing a feature film. And so I think he did a really good job. And uh, there's a lot of shorts too that one time. I know it's Suicide. I saw that and that was good. Um, and yeah, they're just. I think too there many. was. I think there were about 183 films that were entered into the Chandler International Film Festival, and I think we just missed five. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I want to say all the rest of them. <laughs> So now I have the entire cast crew people, all these great people from El Patron, the film. They are out in full force. Everybody's here, so we're gonna, let's go along and introduce everybody. Can we start over Somebody's here? Somebody's hiding. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Let's start back over here. Okay, we met you once before, but introduce yourself yes. again. Hola, yo soy Rogelio Camarillo Jr. I played Antonio in El Patron. And I am Eric Schumacher. I played Agent Mark Jans in El Patron, the master. Yeah. My name is Fausto Almus Renteria and I play uh, Martinez in El Patron. <laughs> <laughs> I am Gia Gerardo and I play Carly in El Patron. So we're gonna go over here. Hello, my name is Alberto Herda and I was not in the movie except for my knees down. <laughs> But I played the train when they were trying to get the payment and, and everything set, so I played the train. You're thug number one. You're thug number one. Yes. Thug number one. Uh, all right. Here. I'm Elisa Pata Francis, and my company, Arclight Pictures, uh, was one of the co-producers of El Patron, along with my husband. I'm also the sound designer and sound, and the editor. Yes, and I was the DP for uh, Al Patron, and my name is Bobby Francis. Thank you. All right, who wants to take Bobby's this very question? shy. He doesn't like to say very much. <laughs> <laughs> how was the How was the screening? Sure. How was this It was wonderful. We had a lot of people in the screening. We're used to doing film festivals, and we were very excited. Chandler brought it, and we were so pleased with how many people came. We had a lot of people come to support us. Uh, we have the Marana Chamber, uh, the town of Marana, also here representing us, which has been great for us and they've made a lot of good connections so thank you to the Chandler International Film Festival this has been great for us yeah. all right and is it, you're all from Arizona yes, yes. yes. Tucson Tucson the road. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Funny. I actually thought you were on this yesterday when I was in Tucson okay <laughs> um, and just we'll go by real quick tell me any any favorite film that you saw during the film festival anything that you really like there was a lot um, um, come back to me I can't remember the name now okay, I got one uh, 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 the chess player beautiful movie yeah. If you're gonna see a movie, it has to be the chess player. Okay. Loved it. I haven't seen a, mu a movie that beautifully shot in a long, long time. Okay. What about you, Hunt? You know, all the names have escaped me. There was, there was a, a, just, just today that I saw a really interesting uh, Western zombie film that was done in one shot. It was really, very intriguing. There was also a really uh, neat uh, crime drama that we saw that, that had a very interesting, even a science fiction aspect to it. So, oh, yeah. nice. yeah. Absolutely. What about you, Gia? Um, I cannot remember the name of that movie, but the last movie that we saw with the lady, it was in black and white. Um, it was a lady who uh, her son was dying. And Stella, Stella, Maris, Stella, Maris, 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 Vietnam, or I mean, I don't know, I, a young woman that goes to visit her husband at the cemetery, come to find out he was a uh, veteran, and I'm a veteran, Vietnam veteran, so I really, really... Yeah, so it was great. So, and ours was definitely Once Upon a Planet. Yeah, Once Upon a Planet in the, in the sci-fi was fantastic. You have to see that one, it'll have you rolling. It was hilarious. Okay, we got, and, and finally... The film that I enjoyed most was Valor. Valor. That's the one you were talking about. Oh, it's very short and sweet. Yeah, the one I yes. was talking about. Okay. Yes. Short and sweet, but very powerful. Very powerful. It caught your attention from the beginning to the it's end, like and <laughs> I felt something. So that's what it really you know, made this special film for me. All right, let's hear it for El Patron. Thank you, Chandler. Thank you, Chandler. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Joining me now is Leo Martinez. We have wow. met so many wonderful people here at the Chandler International Film Festival. Leo, tell me about your film and anything fun that you've done while you've been here. For sure. Um, well, it's a music video. Uh, I directed it and I wrote the lyrics to the song. It's called Leaving. And it's basically about the internal dialogue that you have with yourself when you're in a toxic relationship and whether or not you should stay or go. So the premise of the music video is following the journey of a young uh, woman who is in that struggle and I play the role of the internal dialogue. Ah, that's really interesting. That's, yeah. a, that's a really cool concept. Thank you. Now, have you been here for all four days of the festival? Mm -hmm. Yep, all since right. opening day. Great. And uh, can you tell me a film or two that you really enjoy? Well, uh, my good friends uh, Amber Ford and Essie Maldonado, they worked on the film and it's called Aperture. And it's in the festival as well. So I'm really proud of them. Uh, they've worked very hard on it and a lot of the stuff that they did to make it happen is a sci-fi thriller. So uh, that was a really great film to see. Um, but not personal films. I would say um, Chasing Titles, Volume 1. That was an extremely good film. Um, and then uh, Stella, Stella Marie. It was a black and white film, and um, it took place in, I guess it was the 1930s. It had this like very like you know older kind of feel to it. So it was, very cool. it was really, really beautiful. And I'm just going to say this. I think we're going to give the best, the male best dressed award tonight to Leo. Check, out his, check this out. This is like some cool. kind of cool. I don't know what this is, but this is like a really cool jacket. Thank you. Thank you. I, might, I might try and steal your jacket before the end of the evening. I got to so. keep a good eye on it now. <laughs> we'll see you inside. Thanks so much for Thanks stopping. Thanks so much. We have a whole bunch of people that we have to meet tonight, so we are going to have them introduce themselves one by one, and then we'll learn about this very, very special film and a really great performance that's going to be taking place this evening at the Chandler International Film Festival Awards Ceremony. All right, let's start with you. What's your name? Hello, yeah, it's it. My name is Jamal Isaac Jones from Tucson, Arizona. Okay. Security Nick. My name is George Gonzalez. I am from the Sun River Pima Maricopa Uni community. I am 19 years old. Hello, my name is Tino Lee, and I'm from Dry Creek, New Mexico. Hello, I'm Kenneth Shirley. I'm originally from White County, Arizona. Hello, my name is Colin Lee. I'm uh, coming from Lepton, Arizona. Hello, I'm Brandon McGee from Windy Rock, Arizona. Hello, I'm Ty Lodgepole from Bozeman, Montana. Hello, my name is Ray Sky. I'm from Windy Rock, Arizona. Hello, my name is Ike Owens. I'm from Lake Charles, Louisiana. <laughs> All right, so let's hear about your let's hear about your film, and then we'll get to your performance. Okay, well, let's hear about the film. Oh, uh, this is a group. It's called Indigenous Enterprise, and I started this company in 2015 tonight. And the Chandler International Film Festival hit us up saying that we want to honor you guys for all the wonderful work that we do on behalf of Native American community. And so that's what the film is about. It's giving us a little bit of background knowledge about us, who we are, and what we do for all the Native Indigenous people around the world. So we're just very happy to be here tonight, being able to spread that positive message. And we're going to be demonstrating a little bit of dancing for all of you wonderful people tonight. That is show. fabulous. And you're going to be doing some hoop dancing this evening, is this correct? Yes, definitely. And you're doing it in a suit, no I'll less? I'll be doing it in this wow. suit. I'll take thank off you. the jacket, though, but okay. I'll do it in the rest of the suit. Okay, thank you so much for coming down and joining us. It's very important. Yeah, I appreciate we'll see it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, thank you again. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate you. And joining me now is is the crew from Aperture, and we've heard a lot about this film. Uh, it's been singled out as a favorite from several people that we've seen on the carpet. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Amber Ford. And I'm Esley Maldonado. And I'm Dana Kylie Buchanan. And what can, you, what can you tell me about Aperture? I mean, we've heard a lot about it, but what can you tell me about the film? Um, it is short about a missing person's case. Um, actually, Dana is our lead. She's nice. a detective. Karen Morrison. Karen Morrison in the film. <laughs> And um, it's a story about missing persons that are people that are disappearing, mm. and the bodies are actually showing back up, dumped in random places and unharmed. So she's trying to figure out if it's some kind of sick game or what the cycle is, what the pattern is, if it's a serial type of a thing. And the first person who was dumped actually ends up dying. So it begins like the clock starts ticking. Hmm. So all the people who have returned to have a weird, strange aversion to water and they can't remember anything. They've all been gone for at least 21 days, which is a significant amount of time to be gone. Right. Not know what you were fed. Interesting. How did you breathe? There's no signs of physical distress. What, what, where were you? How did you, you know, how did you survive during all this time and you were unharmed somehow, but and huh. why, 
why can't you take a shower and why can't you, you know, right. go And this the is ocean. a short film? Mm -hmm. This sounds like this would be a really cool full-length feature film. Oh, We're headed that way. Very We're headed that way. Well, good. Yes. That's fabulous. <laughs> well, we'll see you inside Thank for you. the award ceremony. Thank you so much for joining us. Right. And joining me now is Peggy Schott. Peggy, Peggy Schott had three films in the film festival. Tell me about these three films. Uh, the first one is called The New Machine. Uh, it screened in the festival, in the film festival, and also in the Chandler Multicultural Festival nice. across the street. Um, and then the other, another one is The Debt, okay, uh, which is another short film. It's a, a thriller. And then the third one was screened in the um, in, today in the Civil Rights Block, and it's oh. called Missio Can I Exist. It's actually a music video, oh, nice. but it was wonderful to have it today for Martin Luther King Day because yes, it has a important. really strong, strong story. And are you are you from Arizona? Are you from like, no, from Arizona? I, we live in Austin. Oh, live in so Austin. you're I'm from, from New Orleans, Orleans okay. but but here from Austin, representing all three films from Austin. Wonderful. Do you happen to have a website that you could let our viewers know about? Um, well, actually, if you can see Can I Exist? It is out in the public. So Missio nice. is the name of the band. The, the music videos Can I Exist. Okay. Highly recommend that. The other ones are still in the festival circuit. Okay. The new machine and the dead. So. All right. Well, we'll see you inside for the award ceremony. Thank you so much for stopping. Thank you very Thanks. much.